Girls in red and black is the theme of the day. Uh, but the tone is completely different. So here we go. Other side. Oh, it's just a little edge. You'll be fine. Don't worry about it. You need a band-aid? You need a band-aid? You're getting cut? All right. Big ol' subtitles on. Yes, please. Oh, what? Uh-oh. Oh, no! Uh-oh. QA! <laughs> oh, no! We can select two things at once! With the cursor and the D-pad! I need to stop. I need to stop. I'm not testing anymore. Why do I keep doing this? God damn it. The mouse is independent of the menu uh, highlight. So we might actually be able to turn things on and off simultaneously. For example, if I press a button, I'm turning subtitles on and off. But if I click, I'm disabling lightning strikes. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's not too bad. They're- at least they're- they're operating independently of each other. Like, I'm not triggering the first thing based on where the second thing is. Oh, boy. I bet you I can break this, though. I bet you I could shatter this into a million pieces if I spent the afternoon with it. Because, like, this- this is, like... <laughs> oh, boy. That voice. All right. Anyway, let me not get caught, caught up in that. Uh, subtitles are on. Double the size of this font. Subtitles? Yes, please. I appreciate that. There we go. It's fine. We won't. We won't explore that too hard. But but there is definitely a part of me that's like, okay, if this was like three something. So yeah, it's three thirty-seven right now, and this was like, you know, my QA day, my my day of testing's wrapping up at five. I could sit there, save that buck for four thirty and then just kind of like run through it for the next half hour. Every possible thing I can do inside that menu to see how I can break it. Maybe get an option to be on while it says it's off or something like that. You know, it's been happening in every fucking game I've been popping in recently. It's kind of ridiculous. Uh, anyway, that's fine, that's fine. So, this game, uh, yeah, just has a really pretty art style and it seemed to be of the turn-based variety, and I like those things. I enjoy, uh, the aesthetic. And you know what? You need a little edge in your life every once in a while. You need a little breathy, breathy vocals, and, uh... <laughs> you gotta remind yourself of what, uh, what the edge is. You can't forget. You can't forget. There's nothing wrong with it. Dream or Nightmare Mode? Don't act like you didn't like Evanescence growing up. Don't even pretend that you didn't hear Wake Me Up Inside with Daredevil and you didn't kind of fucking like it immediately. Alright? You had to learn. You had to learn to cringe. You liked it when you heard it on your own. <laughs> Don't fucking pretend. We ain't, we ain't about that. Sorry about that. Nightmare. Original. The original other side experience. Sacrificing a daughter is the only way to heal another one. Dream. Alternative. Enjoy a less punishing but still challenging journey. Your daughter receives 50% HP every new day. You get a free resurrection token at the start of each run. Switching modes requires creating a new save slot. Okay. So, dream or nightmare. Well, we're going normal. Uh, so, healing is a no-no, huh? Interesting. Uh, the tutorial. Yes, we launched into earlier to see how, uh, the system, how the thing worked, but let's do it. From behind the veil, they grow. Those you should always be aware. In muted darkness, they flow. Those who feed on, damn it. <laughs> For centuries... The mother has protected the veil, preventing it. That is really, really large text. 
Um, hmm. 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 Hold on a second. That's a bit much. <laughs> that's, that's, that subtitle is a bit much. Okay. Uh, we can maybe go a little less aggressive. The font is very small and doing the stylish thing, but um, as a result, it's kind of... I do like that the option is there, though, but yeah, that is that is not what that should look like. Enable subtitles, yes, but don't double the size of the fonts. Quit the game. Play. You get it. Yes. Yes. Other side. From behind the veil they grow. Those you should always uh, beware. In muted darkness they flow. Those who feed on your nightmare. The Book of Nostra. For centuries, the mother has protected the veil, preventing it from shattering. Her journey has led her to the desi deserted streets of the city, rotted by the plague, where a greater threat awaits. Okay, well, now the subtitles are smaller than the main text. He needs us. The other has come for the chosen one. And soon, the veil will break. The suffering cannot continue. <laughs> okay, maybe we do need that double font size. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Very pretty, though. Aesthetically gorgeous. Uh, I love playing with black and white and color like this. Suffering festers within him. The edge of reality frays. Each battle takes more and more out of me. The other could shred the veil and devour our world. Will you stay with me until the end? I'll give what I can, what I have left. Let it go here and no further. Hmm. Okay. Let's, uh, turn that back on. There we go. Um... Video options. Can we make this look better? I think we can make this look better. Yeah, we can make this look a lot better. For, I don't know why that was set that way. Okay. Well, that would explain some of those textures. Alright. Let's try that again. Watch, my friend. Once I move to strike, the first will fall. Okay, health points. These are health points. HP. Uh, your unit dies if their HP reaches zero. Right. AP? Most actions cost AP. Move to the red square. The further you move, the more AP it'll cost you. And then you set a path. Okay. The other sends more against us. Select the attack skill. Oh, wait, no time to lose, my dear. Let's slaughter this abomination. With what's okay? There's a little passive. Uh, excuse me. There's there's little text that pops up at the bottom there too. That's missable. Uh, not everything is voiced. Instant action skills are played immediately and cost you action points. Okay, so then we have a timeline at the bottom. Uh, slash. Time 
timeline orders all units by their initiative and moves forward whenever a unit ends their turn. A unit can play when it reaches zero on the left side of the timeline. Okay. So again, we're playing with attack turns and uh, trying to get in hits before they can swing. End your turn, your unit will move to 50 on the timeline and recover all their AP for the next turn. Okay. And that would be back. Delayed action, massive attack. Delayed skills immediately end the unit's turn and their powerful effects one, uh, are activated later in the timeline. The cultist is preparing a delayed massive shot. So he is, yes, just past 50. Select a shield charge. Shield charge. The skill will delay the target's next action. It'll also cancel their delayed attack. Massive shot. Uh, damage, 292 to 392. Hit chance, 100%. Okay, so there's going to be that to worry about. Uh, dash up to five tiles, dealing 392 and delay the target by 30 initiative units. Status locked. Charging Star. Interrupt skills can stop a single enemy attack immediately and launch a counterattack. Warning interrupt skills cost health points. Oh, it costs HP to do these. Interesting. Select a Vengeful Stance. It'll interrupt the next melee attack, launching a devastating counterattack. Um, so I am... Still at zero on the timeline. Uh, vengeful stance costs 20 HP. Target your own active unit to launch the interrupt skill. Counter stance. End your turn. And you move to 50. That's worth the HP. <laughs> Although you can't heal, though, right? So if healing is, is, is a premium, things that cost HP are going to be uh, a big deal. Fear not. I can stop the attack before it happens. Okay. We got big tentacles hanging out. Spear tornado. AoE. I can slay them all in one blast. Target your active unit to trigger the area of effect attack. Cat! Yeah. Nice. Okay. Yeah, if you're gonna lose that HP anyway, you might as well sacrifice it to counterattack totally uh and we've got gunners action point burst your unit will go into burst if they start using their last 50 ap uh this pushes your unit back to 100 on the timeline so be careful to burst only when you need extra an extra move or to deal a killing blow to a wounded enemy. Okay, so you will go into burst if they start using their last 50 AP. Okay. So it takes extra time and you don't have to do this, but if you really want to, you can push past and then go to 100 for an extra action. 
Gotcha. Okay. Otherwise, keep them above AP. Uh, I keep them above 50 for a regular turn. Some skills, like the Shield Charge, can delay the next uh, time an enemy will play, giving you more control on the timeline. Yeah, if you spend extra AP to delay or cancel their attack, that's worth it. Right, right, right. Dodge is the percentage chance the unit has of evading an attack. Uh, armor is the unit's protection. Uh, it represents damage deducted from each attack received. Armor and dodge can be modified uh, by ally or enemy skills, so always pay attention to skill descriptions. Okay. So 70 and 0. Remember, the timeline is the key to winning battles. Powerful delayed attack, uh, delayed skills, end your turn and immediately activate uh, later. End your turn immediately and activate later. Interrupt skills, prepare your unit to block an attack and strike back other after their turn. Some skills delay the next time the enemy will play uh, to give you more control and using 50 AP, your last 50 AP will provide a burst, pushing your unit to 100 on the timeline. Yes. A gift gives me such strength. Mother. Okay, so. And let me inspect. So they have... Yeah, what do they have? Uh, move, range, stats... Skills. Can I not check out their skills? No. Okay, they just do a base attack here. Goes up to that. All right. Uh, and what about you? Four twenty-one locked. Cool. All right. Let's see here. Uh, let's attack you. Not shield charge, just a slash. Hmm. Why is that working that way? Hold on a second. Because I only have my last 50 AP there. Right, okay. Delay your strike. Move the character to an available space. I'll stay here. Delayed action, massive shot. Instant action, base attack. So yeah, you need to be caught up and killed. Uh, I can do the AoE right now, actually. Uh, Spear Tornado, do I have enough? Yeah, I should. Pause for a quick second here. I see what's happening. I'm having a weird control issue. Uh, be right back. All right. Uh, yes, I had on Joy to Key in order to play Helltaker, and now we can fucking move and select our abilities properly. Christ. Okay, there we go. Spear Tornado, 60 AP. Let's do it. Uh, we're gonna go into burst mode if we end up doing this, uh, but it'll be worth it to hurt. Uh, Everybody here. Backstab. After delay of 10 initiative units, deal up to 18, 818 damage. Delay enemies in the area 
by 70 initiative units and immobilize them for 50 initiative. Ends your turn. Ah. Okay, so backstabbing is a thing as well. That hurt. Boom. Couple of grunts. Is he going to charge a massive shot? Yes, he is. Ow. Okay. Yeah, that that burst really uh, slowed me down. Getting getting cut up. Everybody's moving. Boy, you really, really want to not overburst, huh? Oh my God. Yeah, bursting is is is. You're gonna give yourself a lot of of time, downtime on the bench if you fucking burst too much. Okay, I can see that absolutely leading to you fucking dying. <laughs> um. All right, so let's move into position where we can charging star this fucker from at least five away. I believe was the. Uh... Oh, you can jump right over the unit. That's cool. Uh, hold on a second. Let me check my skills. Shield charge. Uh, yeah, no. It can only be you. So, move here. Cool jump. Nice little secondary animation with the, um, the, the red cloaks too. Like, same school of, of aesthetics as Shinobi. Uh, big fan of that. That, sh that shit looks always great. Shield charge. Not you you. Fuck your massive shot. And... Now we're already in burst, because we're on our last 50 anyway, so... We're getting spit out to... We're getting spit out to the, to the end of the timeline. Oh! Any skill? Uh, vengeful stance? Yeah, we can vengeful stance. We're probably gonna take some hits in between now and then. Might as well take the 20 HP. And turn. Fuck him up. Nice. Only for one attack, though, right? Yeah. Only for one attack. Oh, boy. I can see this getting really mean. I can see this getting really mean. If healing is not a thing you can do constantly... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this system looks like it's just about... Fucking you up. Uh, Plague Guard. It's an action reinforced armor. Boy. Boy. <laughs> huh. Alright. Yep, yep, yep. Uh,. All right, 100 AP. You are over here, about to die. I can do a nice little AOE to deal with all of you. Um, that would probably be for the best. And is that gonna spit me into burst? Yeah, it will, because it's gonna be 60 every time. Hmm. But we need to eat you guys dead. Or...
Nope. We get either one action. So what's Hail of Shards? Um, deals 402 AoE damage. Uh, 15 initiative up to three times. Has a range of six. Okay. Uh, this might be helpful right now. Yes. Without going into burst. Okay. He is here. The chosen one. Mm-hmm. The poor one's suffering never end. I don't want to harm you, little one. Take it. My blood is my legacy. May it spill forth into an army to rend suffering from its host. Okay. The city was destroyed, the veil fractured. Thousands of souls perished, swallowed by the void. That really looked like a behalit. Time and space converged. Reality and unreality were on the edge of destruction for the first time, and other was close to breaking through. Yeah. Do not despair. My life lights your path. Big behalit energy. Do you remember our journey together? This time, let me guide you. You will wield my memories like a sword, and with them, grow our army. Cool. I nice shot. And thus, they were trapped in an everlasting loop, from recollection to recollection. Daughters of the Red Mother die only to rise again. Eighteen hundreds. Okay. This dark corner of existence is a harbinger. Soon all will follow. The very fabric of our reality is threatened. My last breath is near. My daughters, you are of me. Put an end to suffering. So when I was kind of mashing through it a bit earlier, the other or the the, the 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 child that showed up there uh had a line that he didn't have just now where he said where she says i don't want to harm you my child and he said uh, but i want to harm you and he didn't say it this time which is uh curious the chosen one yeah excuse me hmm i wonder why uh Other side is a game about sacrifice and tough choices. Progress is auto-saved, so there's no turning back. Enemies on other side are lethal, and every mistake will cost you dearly. Your daughters will die, and you will lose, only to rise stronger again. The game expects players to fall, but failure is not the end. After ending a run, 
you restart with additional uh, bonuses and even the ability to resurrect fallen daughters at a cost. Yep, yep, bit of that darkest dungeon energy. The Chosen One's growth has been quite unexpected. From this side of the veil, I can give you my daughters, birthed from my soul. You will need them to fight. What memory has this agony uncovered? Hmm. This is the chrono map. From here, you'll be able to manage your daughters in the inner void. Select the next mission for the attack menu and the day. Let's enter the inner void to generate a new daughter. Let's generate a new daughter. Why don't we? Yeah. Uh, no, but if any, like that's a curious thing as to like there's literally like lines that were missing or not there uh, earlier. Enter the inner void. Is that what you say when 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 the time comes to to have kids? Come, wife, let us generate a new daughter. Sacrifice or regenerate. Uh, desire victoire. Interesting. Welcome to the inner void. Here you can manage your daughters. We fucking... Like, <laughs> what do we, Craster's Keep over here? Like, <laughs> Jesus. That's gonna get, uh, gonna get a little weird. Enter the birthing pool! Here you can manage your daughters! Manage your daughters in the birthing pool! <laughs> oh boy! Yep. Let's germinate. That's what I wanna do. Uh huh. Come! Wife <laughs> to the birthing pools where we will germinate a daughter for 200 souls. Vite Hope. Mm. Mm. Constance Candid. Clements, Providence, Innocence, Charity. Oh no, don't go with Charity. Never go with Charity. Melody, Providence, Serene, Grace, Harmony. Harmony! Harmony's alright. Let's go with Harmony. Okay, cool sword. Nice scarf. The Blade Master excels in melee duels. Soul Slinger supports her sisters from afar. The Shield Bearer protects her sisters. Assign a class. Choose wisely. It cannot be changed later. Okay. Shield Bearer. That's a nice, that's a cool pose. Cool guns. Pretty rad. Can we do anything about that hair? <laughs> can we... Can we do any... No? Are we stuck? Are we stuck with it? Alright. It's okay. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Maybe Shield Bearer. More defense than sister is capable of controlling most enemies with her shield. Uh, attack at range and buffs for the sisters. Powerful, agile sword fighter. Quick and deadly, also more fragile. Yeah. We have one of each. We don't have a shield bearer. So, let's make a shield bearer. The others are converging. Warping reality. You must stop suffering from feeding. Go. Close the first synapse. Pretty. Uh, okay. Attack. Okay, we're still being fed tutorial pathways here. Uh, synapses. New missions or synapses appear each day. Beat a synapse to close in. To close it. And there's rewards, one to three daughters, 150 vitae, and 100 XP, and something else I don't recognize. Select the synapse. 
Here you can view mission details and choose the daughters you want to send. I want to generate another haircut. I want a, I want a different hairstyle. <laughs> Let me go back, tutorial. Give me some control here. Don't, don't make me commit without some options. Select a daughter. Desire. Harmony. And victoire. This isn't a waifu maker. Are you kidding me? Are you insane? What do you think this is? What did I literally just do? <laughs> oh, you, you, you complete nutbags. Uh, it's pronounced victoire. Desiree. Yes, of course. Uh, let, let me see here. Can I even... No, I am stuck on a tutorial path. I can't go to other options yet. All right. All right. We must do it this way, in this order, with these characters. Hunt all creatures. All right. Send them forth. What more must we sacrifice before the end? Flanking behavior. While a unit is engaged in melee combat, attacks coming from the flank or the back will hurt more. How many have died to appease suffering's ambition? How many more? Okay. Harmony is first. And... Yeah. One... Two, three. All right. Get into position. Forty-seven AP just to move there. So that's your entire turn. He's probably going to move up and attack you, isn't he? Plague Doctor. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to move up and attack you. So why don't you? Uh, oh, you don't have any of those abilities yet. All right. All right. I guess that's your turn then. Victoire? What do you got? Intercepting round. Uh, interrupt the first attack uh, on an ally with a range of 10 and deals up to 263 damage two times. Ah. And it costs 10% of your HP. Okay. Interesting. Uh, let's move you like here and turn that on so that you can cover Harmony who's about to get attacked for sure. It seemed like it had a pretty... Yeah, that's a pretty large range of coverage. So if we moved you like here... And turn that on... You'll cover... That attack. Flank. 10% uh, HP. Alright, let's do it. Cool. Now, Desiree, <laughs> uh, you, let's see, what are your skills? Oh, hold on a second, it's still Victor's turn, I have to actually end it. I have to actually end the turn. All right. Now you have injured, uh, imbued blade, uh, up to 832 damage after 30 initiative units ends your turn. Okay. It's a delayed action. And then you have a regular slash. Uh, you can't move up to him, but you can get in position. So let's put you here. There. 
What if... Ooh. Hmm. Imbued Blade. I have to, I have to, I have to anticipate where he's gonna be, between these two, and these two though. So, let's not, let's not, fuck that up and accidentally waste a burst. You guys are gonna have to waste time coming up here. Yeah, how far, you can't move that far, can you? No attack. Ah. I'm surprised. Uh, 209 damage off of a lunge. Three times. Or an instant action. Up to 197. Delays target 25 initiative. Uh, forces target to face the daughter. Okay. So he's there on the timeline. Let's go for damage. Nice. And... Uh, what do you have? That's gonna send you into burst, so will that. Alright, end your turn there. Can you pop a shot and take him out? 25, range attack that deals up to 82. Three times, lock the target in the current direction. Range of six. Ooh, looks like you can. Nice. And you still have some actions, so you can actually maybe, yeah, take another shot. Okay. You're at 50. And your turn. And you... will need to move up before you do anything, so... Let's get you close. Like over here. And we'll see which side he comes to. Ooh, that cape. <laughs> or that, that scarf, rather. It's like, uh, 59, yeah, you're good. Hmm, you should be able to lunge him from there. Probably. Uh, it's gonna take how much to get here? 45? Okay, almost. Almost everything. But if you finish him off, it's worth it. Skills. Ooh, maybe not. Yeah, no, can't afford it. Once you move, you're stuck to your movement. You can't undo the step. Okay, so we're committed to that, that tile. All right. That's all you can do. Uh, you should definitely get into better position here. What's that going to cost? 30 AP for that movement. Man, oh boy, you can't do a lot, huh? You, like, attack, moving and attacking are not two separate things. It all uses action points. Fucking stingy. <laughs> that doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good that, you're, that your attacks and your movement all come from the same pool. Um, makes you makes you feel like you can't act as much as you want to. Shatter them. The doctor has sent a new atrocity. Mm hmm. Uh. Let's get you here. Okay, you... 
have slash for 30. And it's right a circle around you. And same thing for imbued blade. So uh, I got to get right up in your face. How much is that going to cost? It's going to cost 47. So the cost of getting up in your face means I can't actually swing. All right. So we'll just get in your face and hold that hit, I suppose. Unless we burst. Uh, which puts us all the way at 100. Hopefully this doesn't hurt too much. Uh, okay. 672 damage and one attack. Or 832. Uh... After 30 initiative units, ends your turn. Yeah. Alright, let's try to make this hurt so that the burst is worth it. Fuck. Damn it. All right, lesson learned. You don't know where he's gonna be. Let's not let's not overcommit. Uh, all right. I don't want you popping shots though. I still want you dealt with. So let's move. If you're gonna be there, this is gonna cost just about half. And then you're one, two, three, four. No, you're not going to be within actionable range anyway. Uh, let's leave you to the gunner. Whereas you, I can co I can come and attack you. Skills lunge or slam. Uh, one nine seven forces you to face me, or up to three times. Yeah, let's do the lunge. Okay, you're shielded, so you survived that. Um... Yeah, if we're here and we're spending it, why not? Why not? Now we're done. You, how far can you shoot him from? He's out of range, he's out of range. All right, so move up a little bit. Although, I wish I could preview the the attack if I could do it from here or if I have to be like here um, might as well make sure it'll happen instead of coming here not and possibly missing alright now everybody's gonna be Bursted. Exquisite. Worth it. Memories of another life. Guard them well. There's a sword at the top of the enemy's head if the enemy's in range of the attack. Um, what I'm thinking about, though, is like, is the tile the correct one. Uh, so, let's just get up in your face. And, okay, so yes, there we go. Uh, so, sword over your head. Yeah. Yeah. Right, there it is. I see. Okay. Okay. 
join me, leave these weak creatures behind, and join me. Is spent. She must rest till a new day. Cool. Come what may, we will slow suffering's progress. I can feel the difficulty <laughs> of the system coming back to bite me in the ass immediately. Like, I can super see how hard this gets just from that first mission. Oh, man. Okay. Like, just the mere fact that you have to position and, like, probably dance on their footsie, ed on the edge of their footsies. Like, they have a range, you have a range, they have to approach. You don't, you want to walk them out of their range and their attack range. And then also not spend a million points walking into that range and then having to commit to a burst. Yeah, yeah, this seems like it'll fucking beat you up. Recollections. A recollection ends if you have no way to continue and you get beaten by a boss or if you choose to end it yourself. This will let you start a new try on the first day and gives you access to more shards. Resources that you gain from missions and can use to buy remembrances power-ups. Okay, so shards are your, your level up currency. Uh, you can only move to the next day after closing at least one synapse. Rest your daughters. They need to rest. They cannot fight more than once per day. Okay, so days at the bottom of the timeline there are a thing. Select next day. You can only move to the next day after closing at least one synapse. Learn a new skill. One of your daughters can learn a new skill in the inner void. Observe her in more detail to learn more about her. Here you can see your daughter's stats, traits, and skills. Skills can be unlocked by reaching new levels of mastery and upgraded uh, with memories. All right. Open the traits tab. This daughter has uh, earned a new trait. I really wish this wasn't over her face. <laughs> uh, reflecting what she has experienced, traits cannot be removed or changed even in death. All right. Each time you unlock a new skill, you have to choose between two different abilities. Hmm. Wow, this is, uh... Yeah, I, 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 I'm... This is really pure... This is pure, pure, pure turn-based. Um, I, I, I wasn't too sure what to expect from the trailer, to be honest. But it's interesting. Uh, for some reason, I, 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 I thought it was like slightly more action-oriented. But like, I like a good turn-based uh, game. If the information that they give you on the enemy's attacks is perfect, then that's always fun because it's a bit of a puzzle to solve. But in this case, it's not perfect information because you don't actually know what, what the attack is going to be. And you also don't know the accuracy because it might miss. So this is not quite that into the breach shit, but uh, I definitely see the XCOM comparisons. Lightning strike or immovable stance. Uh, dash five tiles, deal 336, range of five for 30 AP, or the fucking counter. React to an enemy finishing movement in melee range and deal four. Yeah, let's go for that goddamn counter. That was a thing of beauty for 5%. Absolutely. Uh, whoa. Hey, okay. So then stats and traits. What do you get? Backsmith's Grace. Uh, 
Increase armor by 180 for 40 and move 40 seconds? Or for, for 40... One... Increase armor by 180 for 40. For 40 what? AP? Is that just missing the word AP? Uh, and move up 1.5 initiative units on the timeline for each incoming attack. Yeah. Okay, it's just, it's literally missing the word AP. Uh, oh, for 40 seconds. Uh, okay. Um, shield bash. Deal 325. Yeah, okay, that's the shield bash. We're gonna go with the shield bash. If this is 40 units of time, then it should indicate that. It should definitely say something like, you know, wait time or, or whatever. Like, yeah, wait time is what um, the other game we played uh, uses. Say that you say your say your your units. Cool. And victoire. Shadow round. Uh, deals up to 221 damage to an enemy in range, taking damage from an ally. Has a range of 7. Deals up to 221 damage to an enemy that is in range of taking damage from an ally. Okay, if someone else has them in range, you can do some extra range damage to them. Or Wrathful Rain... Uh, deal 321 AOE, then move to an empty tile. Cool. Absolutely, let's go with that. That's really sick. Uh, okay. And then there's your stats and your trait leader. All adjacent allies gain this effect. Damage plus 40%. Ah, anyone who's next to her gets a buff. With authority and strategy, she will lead her sisters to victory. Are you the only one? Nope, you have terrifying. All adjacent enemies gain this effect. Armor minus 50, dodge minus 10. And aggressive effect, damage plus 50. From her first steps, she's fed. She's led the fight against evil. She inspires terror in the victims of her holy wrath. Memories recovered. Memories are obtained when killing certain enemies. They're upgrades you can assign to your daughter's skills, adding various effects. Anything from increasing damage to or defense to impacting the timeline. Additionally, every memory unlocks a new part of the codex in memories section. Okay. Internalizing a lot of information right now. Um. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go back to the inner void for a second. I see that we have the Remember cemetery. When a daughter dies, she ends in the cemetery. You can resurrect your daughter using a resurrection token. Any memories of the daughter uh, has are equipped are lost on death. Resurrection tokens are awarded successfully by completing rescue missions when unlocking certain remembrances. Okay. Birthing pool. Give life to our daughters. That's that's there. Uh, then there's the codex. Remember their courage. So regenerate. I can just straight up like start from scratch on a daughter. Um, do they maintain their experience and their levels though? Yeah, I want some information on that button before I press it. Sacrifice for healing. If regenerate is sacrifice for healing, then what sacrifice? Is regenerate the person you choose regenerate on the daughter you want to heal? 
or you choose sacrifice on the daughter you're going to sacrifice. Yeah, two sides of the same coin. Okay. So, you choose sacrifice if you're trying to get rid of that person to, to heal another, and you choose regenerate if you're trying to heal that person by choosing any of the others. Okay. Codex. Uh, the Red Mother. What really happened? I cannot say. We've exchanged our abilities, our realities, my dear friend. Your body is gone, but my spirit follows you. Together we can stop the Chosen, one of suffering. Sever the link that unites them. I offer you my memories. Shape our daughters and send them to stop suffering before it is too late. Um, recalling memories by slaying enemies will unlock a chapter of Mother's history. Okay. So there's lore. Which, Age of Shattering, a group of villagers were approaching our field. Something was wrong. It was clear by the way they walked. Uh, they spoke amongst themselves. There she is. One of them shouted, pain, uh, pointing in my direction. The Bleeding Voidkin. Uh, never had I seen such fury in someone's eyes, so I fled as quickly as I could. Their screams ringing in my ears for a while. I need some water. Hmm. <sighs> We got ourselves a big old number game. <laughs> big old number game here. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. Oh. Uh, and then there's remembrances. Remember. They give you access to bonuses that last through the whole recollection. A remembrance remains unlocked. Uh, once it's unlocked, even if you start a new recollection. Unlocking a remembrance doesn't activate it automatically. You must use shards to activate it. You earn shards every time you complete a mission. Uh, but your pool of shards is limited to those you had uh, at the start of the recollection. Once you start a new recollection, you gain access to all of your earned Shards. Let me read this again. Okay. Okay. That's the sound of me not getting it. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's just let's just go back to the to the to here. Let's germinate a daughter. Let's do that. To our daughters. Yeah, there's a... Uh, Please, guide her well. Miracle. Let's do that. Let's just make a daughter and go into battle and, and try to get back on track here. Um, let's, let's, let's take that. Hey, you look cooler. I like you. Yeah. Very nice. Blade Master. Now, <laughs> unleash her on any who stand in her way. Excuse me. See, like, doesn't that doesn't that doesn't that look cooler? That hair looks way cooler. I dig it. Yeah, maybe I love some of my daughters more than the others. It it's it's kind of a thing. Uh, all right, memories recovered. Memories are obtained when killing certain enemies. There are upgrades you can assign your daughter's skills and adding various effects. Uh, okay, hold on. I'm not actually internalizing that. Memories are obtained when killing certain enemies. Yes, 
that they are upgrades you can assign to your daughter's skills, adding various effects, anything from increasing damage and defense to impact on their timeline. Additionally, every memory unlocks a new part of the codex in the memories section. All right. Is that something in the inner void that I should have equipped that I did not do? For example, if I go to uh, Harmony and I look at her shield bash, there's a slot there. Uh, equipped memory, empty. Can I place a memory? All right, I have the memory witch. Increases the critical chance of a skill by 5%. Increases the damage done by 25% for 30 initiative units. Okay. Uh, crit up by 5. Guardian. Yeah, that's the better of the two for me. I'd rather that. Memory incompatible. That's what it says in the red right there. But we can do this. It's going to cost a hundred Vitae, though. It's going to cost a hundred Vitae to slot that in for a 5% crit chance? That's not worth it. It costs 200 to generate a daughter. Yeah, fuck that. That's garbage. That's a complete fucking waste of currency. Boo. All right, let's just go. Let's just let's just go. Let's 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 getting caught up in a lot of the fucking weeds here. Um, let's get you on the battlefield. And wait, no, no, no. Where did I did I go to the inner void? No, no, no. That's not what I want. Let's go here. Okay, so, desire. Or, our new blade master. Yeah. And then harmony. And then victoire. We must prepare to pay any price. One of your daughters has an aura around here. Of course. Auras. The plague was a tragedy. What came next? An abomination. Well, give me a second, video game. Give me a second. You're positioning things while a tutorial is popped up over another tutorial which has a video playing, and then the enemy positions are being laid underneath that on a third layer. So if you could just give me a second. <laughs> Please. All right. Auras, one of your daughters has an aura. Uh, I have an aura, and, and it's one that requests some chill. Uh, Auras cover each life, each tile adjacent to your daughter and provide a specific bonus. Uh, negative for enemies. Yes, those are the skills we read about. Or not skills, but the, uh, I guess the abilities that we read about earlier. Depending on the units inside of it, every aura has a different effect and condition. The aura's effects immediately, ends immediately if the conditions are no longer met if the daughter dies. Or if the daughter dies. Okay, alright. Yes, we did read about that. All right. Create your own combos. Another concept. Uh, you now have access to more skills, allowing you to combine direct actions, interrupt, and reactions. Oh, like that ability that I didn't necessarily choose for my uh, gunner. Okay. Create combos. I guess because everybody's gonna act 
on a tile in advance of someone getting an action. So then you can push them back onto a tile and then queue up a second thing. Okay. I think I kind of get it. All right. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, Harmony. Let's, let's get you into position. Uh, so you can move anywhere along there. Yeah. So we might as well just get into a spot where we can start attacking you. Uh, all of it is one tile away, so you won't be able to attack anyway. Alright, so then we'll pull you, pull the enemy a bit closer. So just like come over here or something. And then, uh, well, that'll be your turn. Uh, you can shoot from further away. In fact, you can start popping shots right now. Yeah. Whatever we can to prevent this torture. Memories of, memories of another life. Guard them well. Okay. So we got another memory. Uh, you should get close. Let's say, like, here. And then, depending on how that enemy pulls up, we'll make a decision. Maybe a little closer, like here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No swing. Okay. You are still shy by one step. Or do I help you? Nah, you guys have got it. Let's get you over here. Dodge penalty 10%. Intimidated. Uh, yeah. So, your shield bash is over there on the timeline. We'll knock you the fuck back. Uh, or we can just do some damage. Let's just do some damage. Did almost half, but not quite half. So if I attack again, you're not gonna die. It might. It might. You know what? It might be worth it. You might die. Yes. Shred them down. Sweet. Okay, uh, next miracle. No, Victoire. Uh, you can pop some shots. Who can you shoot? You or you. Uh, let's start shooting you. Yeah. Okay. 
kill him? Nice. Call it there. No burst. Uh, slash. You can't stop progress. The cure will be found. The cure. Okay. Down in one, so smaller guys can be handled by a single swing. That's pretty good. I've got a decent amount of AP left. Uh, we've got and just these two enemies, huh? All right. Well, move into position. Help her out. about like here yeah wait we're bursting you're probably gonna come here aren't you you're likely gonna come here there's a very small chance you don't walk over here because you want to hurt us you want to hurt us come on in Ah, shit, I didn't look at the timeline on that and wasted it. He didn't have a move. Stupid. Also, you have... Curse Therapist, you're a gunner. Shot, yeah, stupid. Stupid, alright. Whoops, my mistake. Um, here. Get into position. Fifty-three. Yeah, no way. Let's stop it there. Okay. <laughs> oh boy! Oh, oh, Victor! Oh, Victor! That was not fun for you. I am sorry about that. Hey, Harmony, can you um maybe like bash this motherfucker? Right here. It's a difference of slight AP. If I commit to it, hold on a second. Shield bash is one tile there. Yeah. Okay. No. You you gotta get point blank. You gotta get point blank. Yes. No mercy. Nice. Um, boy, 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 boy. You need to get back into a place where you can help her out. Thank you. Uh, yeah, go, please go. What, what's your movement range like? You have full ability to catch up. Okay. We're not escaping easily. Get the fuck back over here. Um, maybe... See, Wrathful Rain to get out of your... your... No, just move again. Move again. Get get the fuck out. Then he's gonna have to come to us. Yeah. 
Yeah. Let him come over. Reinforced armor. Okay. Now we get the heads up. Uh, shield Bash is going to knock you really far away, though. Uh, that's not what I want. I want some damage. Forces you to face me, but if he's got armor, this is going to just... Oh, it's completely nullifying the damage. Oh, shit. Okay, hold on. Let's actually look at that. Fuck. Uh... Increases armor by 170 for 80 initiative units. Okay. He literally just completely... Damn. That was... Okay, fuck. Alright, we're gonna need to... Salvage... Can you do anything right now? Nope, you're too low. Should have, should have shield bashed you. Victoire, uh, just shoot. Literally, just shoot. He's armored up, of course. Duh. Um, what do I have? Can I? Or can I? Do I have anything that pierces armor right now? I don't think I've been introduced anything that pierces armor. Um, interrupt an attack. I can turn that on. She's she's low on damage. On, on life, rather. Uh, no. No, I can't interrupt her. I can't actually deal with armor right now. Okay. Uh, miracle? Can you just, like... Imbued blade. Ends your turn. Fuck ton of damage. Hmm. Alright, I might just have to wait this dude's armor out. However long that lasts. For the 80. Uh, or so. I believe it said. 80 initiative units. Yeah, I guess we're just kind of wasting time then. Otherwise, like... That super swing might work, but I don't know if he's going to stay in position or not, so... Alright, if I were to... If I were to actually... Well, he's up next, right? Yeah. Armor lost. Alright, you took that hit a little bit better. That's good. Now... Uh... Hurt him. Your daughters taste delicious. Send me more. Okay. <laughs> okay. Come what may, we will slow suffering's progress. Another threat has come to an end. This time. To heal a daughter's wounds, you have to sacrifice another one. Victoire is not doing so hot. Miracle is... Sleeping? Yeah? I think that's... 
That's what that says. Mm -hmm. Um, let's give you that instead. So, you're our only gunner. So one of these swords has to go away. I guess we're gonna sacrifice. You're all level two. But you guys are tired. I guess Desire is going to have to go if we want to heal up Victoire. Right? I think that's what's happening. The only way to heal a daughter is to sacrifice another daughter of an equal or higher level. Oh, it can't even be weaker. You can't even use a weaker one. Wow. Uh, the surviving daughter will be healed and receive a fragment of the sacrificed daughter's soul, gaining some of its power. The sacrificed daughter will be laid to rest in the cemetery. I guess that's that, then. Uh, no, don't regenerate miracle. Wrong daughter. No, 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 stop that. Stop that. That's, that's, that's incorrect. Um... Desire is needed to regenerate. Victoire. New traits, part of desire. Uh, she'll get. Oh, okay. It's demon fusion. She gets a little bit. She gets damage plus nineteen, critical damage plus three. A remnant of desire lives in her sister. Yeah, it's demon fusion. Okay. Well, that, once you kind of think about it as demon fusion, then it's not as, it's not as, uh, cruel as it sounds. We're just hanging out in the velvet room. Yeah. Totally. Sacrifice. It better be full HP. Could you imagine if it was, like, a minor I heal? Feel her light grows stronger. <laughs> okay. It is a minor heal. And then you get like a little fucking like, oh yeah, okay, that crick in my back is gone. Cool, all right. She is topped off. And uh, then you just have to spend money to generate a new one. But again, it can't be a weaker one. So you can't generate batteries. I see, so if you spend 200 on each daughter and then they're at level one, they're no good until they're at least equal or higher to actually get the healing going. Hmm. Interesting. So don't overcommit too many things like, uh, like, uh, what was it? The, the memories, right? If you're paying money to put memories on somebody and you can't necessarily get that cash back and then you have to sacrifice that daughter, then, like, what the fuck? That's, yeah. You gotta be economic about it. I see. Okay. Interesting system. Interesting system. Um... Yeah, very pretty. Aesthetically killing it. Uh... I, I dig, I dig it, I dig it. Interesting concept. Um... Very much... I have big numbers, like... Technical? And that's okay. It's a uh, little bit much for me, uh, but I do dig what's going on, and I do dig the sort of like again. I love a good turn-based game. Um, I think if uh, you get better at like kind of anticipating the uh, the system of like what the enemies are going to, uh, what their moves are going to be, I think if they if they telegraphed what the enemy moves would be so that you could telegraph and plan around it. That would be pretty fun. Um, seems really good, but it's going over my head. Yeah, yeah, it's going... Some A bunch of this is going over my head, too. Uh, and uh, not, not you know, for lack of... Not that, like, having a lot of features is bad. I mean, having features is, is awesome. And, you know, when you get, like, into these things, you really want to do, like, customize and fine-tune a lot of the details, which I'm sure is, is, is uh, really fun if you're into um, a lot of that fine tuning, I'm currently like feeling like I'm drowning in, a, in some of this um, 
but I do like what's going on, and I can imagine this gets uh, pretty sick later on in with higher level units, bigger, sweatier decisions to make about who to sacrifice. Uh, although the subtitles are kind of still buggy, um, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not the only one, right? You guys are kind of yeah, okay, yeah. There's a little bit of a drowning in the in the tutorials and the features and the and the the stuff uh, that this game is doing. But that being said, uh, I still think it's it's pretty slick. So, yeah, that's other side.